Howdy folks, it's Meandering Mike in the Man Cave of Manus. It's after midnight and we're doing a quick mm, unboxing, unwrapping of this Kickstarter. This is a hardcover edition of the Kingdom of Rethem from the Harnica, Executive Harnica. Uh, Harn is a role-playing game and setting from Columbia Games. I had, uh, did a book earlier on the Kingdom of Orbal. This is their latest one, Rethem. So let me go ahead and open the shrink here. I made some little easy pre-slits there to get. All right, half off and it's clinging. <laughs> All right, so. So again, let's look, look at the back. Uh, see if we can get that without the glare. Oh, let's see, what do I zoom? Oh, just a tiny bit, and then hold it like that, yeah. All right, so, Kingdom of Rethab. So here we are, this is the continent of Harn. It's like a mm, smaller continent, maybe say like Australia size, I guess. There's a much bigger continent over that way. But uh, so here's Rethem on the west coast. Uh, Kande and the Thardic Republic. Uh, this is the most populated area here in Harn. Uh, there's the River Thard running through there. That's a major, major uh, trade route along the river there. So ret them, as it says here. Uh, let's see if we maybe zoom in on that and look just at that part there. If we can do this. Yeah, all right. Fractious feudal kingdom on the western coast of Harn. Politics are dominated by the black-souled and evil churches of Agric and Morgath. The threat of warfare between religious orders compounds the danger posed by rivalries between feudal lords. So you got politics and religion, something that everyone can disagree with and fight over. Sounds wonderful, right? The political situation is far from settled and the threat of civil war looms over the kingdom. Sounds perfect for a setting for the players, eh? Uh, it's bounded by the kingdom of Candae to the south. The Perrin Wilderness to the north, and the Thardic Republic to the east. All right, so, I um, won't read all those details, but basically there's a lot of trade activity going on uh, in the area, because, again, the Thard River, uh, densely populated, lots of trade and such, major trade center. So that sounds like a good spot for intrigue and excitement for the players. So I'm not going to look through everything on this. There's been, uh, you know, Kickstarter previews out there and such. I'll just do a quick look through here. All right, lots of people, lots of contributors, lots of writers. All right, so here is the... Mm, uh, try to stop the glare. Let me... Zoom back out a bit. There we go. All right, Kingdom of Rethem. So they've got those grid coordinates that uh, sync up with the Encyclopedia Harnica, and there's uh, big detailed maps you can get um, if you want much finer zoomed in detail. I'm sure there's some maps in here that include those, but uh, Golatha. Glotha, Glotha, that I believe is the capital of Rethem. There's Kande. Uh, Thardic Republic will be over here. There's Thard, there's the River Thard. Coming out through here, so. Make your trade goods to get to the sea to go around, or uh, I believe uh, large parts of this are navigable upriver. Um, to a large degree. So I can't remember if there were some rapids and portage points at a certain point, but yeah, I believe you can get quite far inland. Um, 
All right, let's go on and see what we can see. Okay, so digs right into talking about the various aspects of the kingdom, the overall um, the little mini articles. So this is the same kind of stuff that you can get as PDF form online. You can also get it in the loose leaf, hole punched, printed style if you like that. But a lot of people were asking for good old hardback bound culture, economic data, heraldry, etc. So I would say probably mm, two thirds, sixty percent of this book is going to be on the kingdom over at the then. Okay, then they'll have cover some of the cities so like Golotha, the Jaran tribes migrating from the. Lithian mainland settled in the Thard River Valley. Ah, yeah, always good to have that cultural, historical, anthropological background. We've got nice maps of important parts of the city, critical buildings, etc., etc. Okay, ooh, quite a few pages on Goloth as the capital. Ah, uh, good. They have at least a couple more cities. It's always nice to have more than just one spot. Always got their nice, sweet maps. Shostim, let's see. And I think it might stop there. So I do believe there's, mm, I think at least one, if not two or three other cities in this kingdom that you can get as, you know, supplemental items, either the PDF or the printed regular stuff. So they only included a certain amount in the, the hardback. Um, let's go back to that. Table of contents there to see Is there anything of interest at that. Well, actually, did we did we spy a table of contents? Uh, so that's a problem. If the separate loose leaf products didn't have a table of contents as a book, if you slap it together, good lord, man, throw in a table of contents. Uh, did they do an index for us? That would be. Forgivable interior map key. Nope, shows to him. So, dear Columbia Games, please, for these combined uh, books, make a table of contents page. What's, what's in them? What's in them? Uh, I know you wanted to, you know, just basically take what you already have and slap it together, but... You're creating a new product, and it should really not be that hard to make a version from the original that just has, you know, page numbers. These are these are numbered per section, so you know you go from Retham up to sixty whatever and Golotha etc. But within this, as a reference, there's not a you know sort of a a raw page number for the whole thing, and there should be. Wouldn't be that hard to add a table of contents and index in the back and put those page numbers on there. Bingo. All right, so I'm going to suggest that to them via what other mechanism. So this was Kingdom of Retham, Harnack Encyclopedia, Columbia Games. Don't be wrong. I love it. I love the quality, the nice gloss, the maps, all that good stuff. But as a new product, as a hardcover book, that combined basically these three pieces, the kingdom module and two of the city modules, I would have liked, and I think as general, people would expect to see a table of contents and page numbers. So, Or is that just me? You tell me. Am I, am I being a little picky or what? Eh. So... Well, that's it, folks. That's the quick and dirty unboxing, unshrinking, unwrapping of Kingdom of Rhythm Kickstarter from Columbia Games. So all you good folks out there, take care and ciao.